San Diego Mesa College alum and four-time Oscar nominee Annette Benning once said that acting is not about being famous, it's about exploring the human soul. And for nearly four decades, Southwestern Community College art director William Virtus echoed that sentiment, pioneering Latin American teaching for the theater. And in his pursuit of perfection, the 79-year-old may have uncovered something greater. Julian Delgadio has that story. I've never worked a day in my life since I started teaching and doing what I love in coaching. Walking the halls of the theater department at Southwestern Community College, 79-year-old William Virtus feels right at home. This is the place. Freedom, 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 right? Between the rows of seats, empty classrooms and stage lights, nearly 40 years of history embody the former community college art director. It was never a hobby for me. It was almost like a behavioral science, you know. I wanted to learn about the conflict of man and you know, my mother and father uh, uh, were very instrumental in it, in it. Long before he taught, Bill, a student born in Mexico City, moving north of the border to Chula Vista and landing in his first play at the age of nine. So I spoke Shakespeare before I spoke English. I had, I didn't speak English at that time. So that's how I got started in the theater. The theater became part of that world of exploration of others. While his first love was entertainment, once high school rolled around, Virgis falling into a new passion, wrestling. Wrestling saved my butt. Wrestling was my metaphor like theater. Theater is a metaphor for wrestling because you're by yourself, you know, you're the Hamlet, you're, you're the lead protagonist on that mat. I was 98 pounds and if I lost that match, it meant that it, the whole matches could be lost and failure cannot be in your vocabulary. Little did the three-year letterman at Chula Vista High School realize it was the mat and this sport that pioneered one of his greatest students. To have a young actor named Mario Lopez who was, who was an actor, right? He's the only guy that I know that has never been out of a job since he was seven years old. His theater, he was a dancer on the mat, man. <laughs> His skill, you know, he was an actor. He, he faked you out, you know. That power of theater, that osmosis, I was there. And he, when I coached him and uh, other coaches, you saw the power of the sport in it and the power of the acting process. You have to believe that you're this Superman and on there, right? Burgess would go on to direct, produce, and act in more than 250 productions, including 17 World College premieres in the South Bay. I thank this place for giving me a house, giving me a family, giving me a career, giving me great dreams. You know, so you retired from teaching, but does one really ever retire from the arts and, and from theater? Retirement is a weird word for me. Artists die with their brushes in their hand. Guitarists die with their <laughs> guitar Sevilla. Artists never retire. You can't retire as an artist. We just keep, you gotta keep on going, I think. In Chula Vista, I'm Julian Delgadio. Fox 5 is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month and you can catch our half hour special tomorrow night at 6.30.